Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here at the 2023 Australian Darts Open. Let's bring to the stage a former Oceanic Masters and West Coast Classic champion, babyface David Platt. Open finalist, the world number two, New Zealand's number one, the reigning New Zealand Open champion, Hopai Puha. Welcome back to the Australian Darts Open. Our fourth match of the evening between Hopai Puha and David Platt of Western Australia. David Platt came across on Monday to compete in the qualifiers and qualified at his first attempt. It's well known around the country and internationally. Very experienced player, but he's up against an inform Hopes, who I spoke to earlier tonight and was feeling pretty confident. Feels he's comfortable, throwing well. And he's got over his recent illness. I'm joined by Anthony Dundas once more. Yeah, it should be a good one, this. David threw well below his capabilities in his group match. Yep, both these guys came through matches with Darren Carson 5-0. Once again, it means that this is a straight knockout match. It's pretty much like a last 16 encounter. Replacing the quarterfinals. And the winner of this one will take on... Johnny Tata in tomorrow's quarters. Our referee Marco Meyer once more. Yep, Marco who point blank refused to dance on the dance cam. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same man who has danced to Gangnam style on the lakeside stage in front of many millions. <laughs> yes. Pretty solid start from Hopi so far, 140 ton. Looks like he's going to back it up here. Ninety-four. Well, the snack cam, folks, beware. <laughs> As you said, Kelvin, both these guys didn't really play to their, their standard against Darren Carson in their first group matches. Platt won 5 0 with a, an average just under 69. And Hopi 
another 5 0 win. He averaged 77. But both these guys capable of much, much more than that. Oh, absolutely. These guys regularly in the high nine in the high nineties and above. They don't get to win as many trophies as these two without breaking that hundred barrier on a consistent basis. Two eighteens for hopes for the first leg. Under no immediate pressure, but he is getting closer. Not to be. Flat back in one seven three. All he can do is pressure ice, and then hope. Big nineteen. What Excellent darts. Yes, which he does. He's forty. Should he return? And the awkward double nine for Puha. Uh, nothing awkward. awkward to him. Nothing awkward about that one, Anthony. <laughs> Definitely not. Hopes into a 1 0 lead. For number one seed, Anthony Bardens. Just having a few practice darts. Yeah, we'll be seeing Andy in five games' time. He takes on Laurie Locke. Back in the treble, calling the ton of plat. In the recorded head to heads, it's there's only one match that's been recorded between these two, and it was back in 2018. The Oceanic Masters, David Platt came out the winner there. Three legs to two. Slightly longer format in this one. And a lot has changed in five years. We've seen the improvement of Puha. So much so that he's now one of the top ranked players in the world. He is my tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Treble says Hopes. Jumps into a significant lead, requiring 1 6 1 after 9. Fifty-five. you require 161. 1 6 1 then for Hopes. Last year's finalist, our number two seed. Sixty-five. He will return for ninety-six. Plat back on two, two, four. Needs a big treble. Thirty-nine. Not what he was after. So still six if he needs it for hopes. Double eight. Eighty. We come back though. Ah. Two fine gentlemen. Graham Rossler being oh, one of our stage crew. Stage managers, I should say. Fifteen. Hope you require sixteen. I've just received a lovely message which I will converge to you in a second. No score. Oh, as we watch take the opportunity. 135 for David Platt. Oh, just a wire's width away from the 25. 57. So another chance for Puha. Two eights for a two-nil lead and a break of throw. Yeah, Are you sure of it this time? Back. Yes. <laughs> two legs to nil. To the New Zealander. Fifty-seven. 
So the message I have received that says, watching on a damp, horrible morning here in the UK brings back many lovely memories of 2019. Hope to get back one day to play in Moama. And it is from the former world champion and former Australian Open finalist, Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell. Scotty boy. Yes, he was here with his lovely wife, Sharon. And how we would love to see you back here, big man. Yes, we would. Lovely fella. Great down player. Yeah, one of the gents of the game. Was extremely disappointed to miss out. One on winning the title. Scotty, a former PDC tour card holder. We must make an effort to try and catch up with Scott Mitchell when I head over in September. Head to the World Cup with the Australian team as men's captain. Looking forward to that in what should be a great event. Two uh, one six four then for a three 0 lead. Under no immediate pressure to take it out though. May stay the twenties. No, he did go for the eighteens. Just missed the triple eighteen. And it's a good marker to leave himself thirty two on his return. Scott now says, "I made Damon Hetta a star." That's my claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I Puha trying to make himself a star. We'll take a step closer with double 16 here. Ooh, very awkward first two darts. No score. Very unlucky. Treble 15 for tops should be the preferred route. 20 for the bull. Bullseye for 2-1. Oh, that's a wide. He says, oh. So 32 for Puha. To go into a 3-0 lead. And yes, yes indeed. 16 dart leg. Averaging high 80s. Flat high 70s at the minute. Best of nine legs, so just the two more to go for Hobai. And it's beginning to look a little ominous. Puha has not dropped a leg in this tournament yet. But that's not a good start. Couple of the boys from ACT there. They were here for the Australian Championship, so they've been here for just about two weeks. Enjoying the sights of Moama, no doubt. And of course, we did see Hopai a couple of weeks ago show some heroics on the big stage at the New Zealand Darts Masters. Took a big scalp in defeating Dimitri van den Berg in the last 16 before bowing out to Nathan Aspinall in the quarters. And back in July at the New Zealand Masters, a finalist 16. there. Lost that final to the big rig himself, Ben Robb. Yes, Ben Robb getting married on Monday, I believe. So, best wishes to... Ben in the future, Mrs. Rob? Absolutely, yes. Had the pleasure of Ben's company at the Asia Pacific Cup back in 2018, I think it was, in Seoul, South Korea. 100. David, you require 151. Vaguely remember enjoying some beverages in the <laughs> roof of the hotel. <laughs> He's a very sociable guy. Off the board. Absolutely. 
Yeah, it was good company. All the Kiwis and the Aussies. Making myself and Marco feel right at home. 16. David Judy Clive, yes, It's fair to say that we're opponents on the hockey, but we pretty much stick together and back yeah. each other up off the hockey. Yeah, that's that's a great Clark gets Clark. himself on the scoreboard. Fifth leg, in the fourth Three. leg, the score's 3 1 in favour of the New Zealander. What a start. Comes out firing. Well, there's a message, if you ever have seen one. Absolutely. I've just lost my first leg in the tournament. I am not happy. Have this. 55. 60. <laughs> Hashtag Waterboy Liam. He's been demoted again. I've just received another message saying I recall a very good dance from you and Marco in Korea. 41. Yes, we did Gangnam Style in the <laughs> Asia Pacific Cup on stage. Yes, I've seen the uh, clip of that one. Thank you for the reminder, Tori Kyush. Uh, shout out to Tori. Hope you're enjoying life in the Northern Hemisphere. Living in the Netherlands now. Living the dream. Just means we've got to put up with her now, not you. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourite people, Tori Kewish. Yeah. Tremendous wonderful. young talent. 16. I believe her injured paw is healing quite well. Yes, yes absolutely. She's time to throw some good darts again. 16. Oh, we have a loving up in the balcony. Another one of those hopes. No. Has recovered extremely well from losing that fourth leg. Way in front once again. Yeah, it's going to be short from David Platt to make him at least think about this shot. Single for double on the 20s. And there is the single. And there is the double. He thought about it quite a bit. And bang. Into a 4-1 lead goes Hope. Just needing the one more leg for victory over Western Australian expat David Platt. Platt to the expat. Platt. <laughs> Great shot. It's a motley crew. One hundred. Nice response from Hope Eye there with the following David's first visit of 140. One of them forty. Yes, backs it up with another one forty. To leave two to one after six. Just referring back to Scott Mitchell. As I said, he came out in 2019 for the first Australian Darts Open. And was the ultimate professional. Even if he didn't win the title, he certainly left quite an impression on everyone that came across Mr. Mitchell. And he has said he looks forward to catching up with you in Denmark. Ah, he's coming across to Denmark. Lovely. David Looking forward to Denmark. Catching up with a lot of people that I haven't seen for quite a long time since the pandemic hit. 
I'm pretty much stopped the world for two years. And David Platt's hoping to stop Puha here. 60 points away, he's been well in control on this leg. But what a response this is. Now then, David Platt, that's given you something to think about. Second 180 for whole pie of the match. Tops. Oh, it's there. We're seeing some of the brilliance of David Platt come out. The score 4 2 in favour of the New Zealander. Yeah, Plus needing the one leg for victory. Platt's pushed, pushed his average up to about 84 now. Puha averaging round about 89. From David. Moved over to Australia back in 2009, did David? Look at this though, from the New Zealander. That's a nice view from the side of the stage. Yes, it's a wonderful venue. This room, perfect for. 48. This tournament. As I said, tomorrow looking to be a capacity crowd. Still a few tickets left, so if you're in the area and you want to entertain in the afternoon, come down and see the skills of these players. Robert, one of our com competitors later tonight, facing Tasmanian's Brad Thorpe. 100. So Puha, first attempt at the finish, it's the Nelson, 111. Shots on, 19 for double 16. Oh, oh. hello. You've left yourself 13. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles to himself. What a wally, he says to himself. One of the three. So an outside chance then for Platt, 158. Well, we've got a 138. Shots on, another one of those. Double 19. Oh, oh just two. under the wire. Wires width away. Oh, magnificent eight. effort. Superb attempt at the 158 from David Platt. And now match point Puha. Game a shot and a match it is. A 5-2 victory for Hopai Puha. And he is through to the next round. 2-2, 1-2. He will take on his fellow New Zealander, John Tata, in the next round. We move back to the ladies competition next from Group 1. Eileen de Graaf, the number one seed, will take on Australia's Amanda Locke. 